Hi, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to correctly use the Smart Start 2030 alcohol ignition interlock device. The 2030 uses just a standard blow pattern, and I'll demonstrate an easy test right now for you. Always remember to take a full breath of air before you make the test. After you successfully pass the test, it will show analyzing and then the words pass. You will notice when I made the test, I always make sure I've got a um, full seal around the mouthpiece and also that the, my mouth is close enough to the head to avoid getting a uh, warning such as mouth closer. Uh, when you return for each service, you'll find that upon servicing, you'll have to remove the mouthpiece and that is simply done by pulling gently on the device and easing the mouthpiece out of the head, such as this. And then when you are finished having the service completed, you can then simply just put the mouthpiece back in. The mouthpiece has a distinct uh, slot here on the side of it, which is also matches up with the slot at the bottom of the head. And it's just simply to put it back in, you just slide it back in like this, nice firm pressure and straight back in it goes. So when using the 2030 device, you can encounter a couple of different messages on the device. Uh, one is mouth closer, the other one is don't inhale, the other could be uh, blow harder or blow softer. So I'm going to demonstrate to you a few of those things that might happen when making the test. So first off, we're going to demonstrate don't inhale. So it's simply a matter of, uh, I'll do, do a demonstration by inhaling on the device and you'll see what appears. As you can see, it displays the words don't inhale. The next example I'd like to give is demonstrating mouth closer. So as I said earlier, you should have a full seal around the mouthpiece with your mouth located close to the head of the device. After completing a full test, you'll see it displays the words mouth closer, alerting you to the fact that you have not put your mouth fully around the device and close enough to the head. I will now show you what happens on both occasions when you either blow too hard or blow too soft. So the first demonstration I'll show you when you blow too hard through the device and what it'll display on the screen. As you can see, the screen simply alerts you to say blow softer. You also now get an opportunity to see what happens when you blow too soft. As will be demonstrated, the screen will just say blow harder. You would have noticed earlier the device goes into a countdown timer when you don't make a successful test, e.g. mouth closer, blow harder, blow softer, don't inhale. So the important thing is to use that time to regroup and make a successful test. Now to conclude this demonstration I'm going to give you one last successful test. Please remember that you always need to take a full breath of air but you need to deliver that air in a slow and steady manner. That is the key to making successful tests. Don't blow too hard, don't blow too soft. As you can see, displays the word analyzing, then pass. That concludes this short tutorial. Now please, if you do require any further assistance whatsoever, don't hesitate to call our 1300 number, that is 1300 256 900, or you can go to the web and go on to www.smartstartinterlocks.com.au to get further assistance. Thanks once again.